Hey YouTube, Opinionative Reviewer here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys this utility in CD called Multi Tunes. It came out today. It's by Harrison Apps and it's in the Big Boss repo for free. And basically, what it allows you to do is sync your iDevice with multiple iTunes accounts. You can sync your device with any amount of iTunes account that you want to. Your device just to have just has to have the space on it. So that this is an eight mega uh, eight gigabyte iPod Touch. This doesn't have that much space, so it's not gonna sync with about ten different iTunes. And after I show you guys, after I demo it for you, you're gonna understand what I mean. So first of all, you have to go into Cydia and you just search multi tunes. And then you just go ahead and install it. It's a utility. I'm not sure if I said it came out today, but if I didn't, yeah, it came out today. You go ahead and install it, confirm, and you're not gonna have to respring because it, it's a utility. It put places an app on your device on your springboard. All you're gonna have to do is just return to Cydia and go back out to your springboard. <clears throat> so let me just go out and return out of that. Now we're gonna go out to our springboard and. First of all, let me show you guys what music, video, and stuff that I have on my uh, iPod Touch. So we're going to go over and I'm going to go into my, my videos. And uh, there's a reason I'm showing you what I have on first. Let me show you my videos. Come on, you slow thing. I have Insidious, the movie, and Family Guy on this iPod Touch. Uh, let me go and show you my music. My playlist, these are all the playlists I have here, and all those music, this music comes from those playlists. Now take note of all of this I'm showing you, and I'm going to also show you my photos. These are the photos that I have on my device. Can you see, see those photos right there? So, <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead on the, the icon that it placed on our, our springboard, and we're going to go ahead and open up, which is multi-tunes, multi-tunes, <clears throat> however you want to pronounce it, and you can see it has my default library there. Now, the default library is the library that your, your iDevice is normally synced with to an iTunes account, so this default library is synced with my desktop PC, and right now I'm using my laptop. So, what we're going to do, all you got to do is go ahead and you add uh, whatever you want so I'm just gonna put laptop and I'm gonna go ahead and, and select done so now when I go and I switch over to this one which is a laptop it takes a little while to switch over that's the different library I'm gonna go back out now to my springboard and I'm gonna go into music and you can see I don't have any music inside here don't have any music um, I shouldn't have any videos neither inside there so now you can go ahead and sync the another computer or whatever you want to your device under this account you can add as many as you want like I said before so I can add another one and then go sync with a computer outside go sync with a school however much you want as long as your device can hold all of it so now that I have it on laptop I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch back to the default library and I'm going to go ahead and plug in my device to my laptop which is not the main PC that it's, it's uh, synced to. So when I plug in you should see the message that comes up in iTunes saying that uh, you should, if you want to erase the iPod and then sync it with this library. That's the message you normally get. As you can see this is the message right here. So this is the message that you normally get. So I'm going to just go ahead and plug out my iPod touch and I'm gonna go back and switch to this uh, this one which is laptop and when I go ahead and plug back in my device it should ask me to set it up as a new device and not give me that sync error um, and not sync sorry the erase so as you can see you're gonna have to go you can go ahead and back it up from here but I don't advise that because it's gonna want to um, restore and add apps as well I'm gonna talk about apps as we go along so let me just set up as a new iPod just hit continue. I'm just going to hit uh, admin's iPod. Make sure you deselect uh, sync apps. You don't want to sync apps. You want to just sync music, pictures, if anything. Do not sync any apps. Um, I don't want to sync automatically. I want to select. So I'm just going to hit done. It's just going to go through and sync the normal backup that it does, whatever, whatever. Let's just let it run through. Now that it's finished, as you can see on my device, I have 2.4 gigabytes free. And the 3.9 gigabytes that's already taken up that's for my default library so that's what I was telling you it depends on how many space you have on your device that's how much libraries you can sync with so now I'm gonna go ahead and just let's just go ahead and sync some music so let's go ahead and know my music 
and sync not entire library let's just do selected and I'm just gonna sync one of our playlists that I have here Drake playlist and probably some photos as well so let me just sync some photos so I have my photos that I want synced and I have my music as well you can sync movies and all that stuff I'm just gonna do two of those and then I'm gonna just hit apply and let it go ahead and sync those couple songs and pictures and then after it's finished we're just gonna go ahead and double check you don't have to keep the app open you can close it it's gonna sync in the background <clears throat> you can go ahead and use your device like normal as well so now it's finished syncing my uh, my stuff and I'm still on the laptop library so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside my music and you should see the only playlist should be the Drake playlist that I just now synced with my device so you see I have my Drake playlist here and these are all the songs that I have right there and that's the only playlist you're going to see you shouldn't see any movies because I didn't sync any and you shouldn't <clears throat> see no movies and let me go ahead and check my pictures and the only photo I have in here is this photo that I synced now <clears throat> one thing I wanna note about photos if you cannot delete them so if I go ahead and I click on I, click, I cannot delete those if I go in and I click on this photo I cannot delete it so be careful the only how you can get rid of those photos is if you empty the album on your iTunes that you synced it from and it's gonna erase those photos that's the only way so be careful when you're syncing photos I don't know if an update is gonna fix that so now I can go back into my iTunes library I can go into default I'm just gonna plug it out from my computer here you don't have I don't know if you have to I just wanted to plug it out and when I go back over to my device I should see my music that I had before about three or four playlists that I had there so as you can see these are all my my music that I had before they're still there for my default library so that's basically the gist of this utility it allows you to sync with multiple iTunes account you can sync with however however iTunes not multiple iTunes account multiple iTunes you can sync with however much you want to it doesn't matter you can just go ahead and add how many you want this is the laptop if I want to go ahead and add if I had a Mac I could add a Mac etc etc that's the gist now as I was saying about apps the reason I said don't sync apps is because at the bottom of this which is, as soon as CDL loads I'm gonna go ahead and show you there's a one so I'm just gonna go ahead and scroll down you see it says important it says before downloading content from the iTunes or the App Store apps make sure the default library is selected which is the default library inside multi tunes the default library you see right there in the photo make sure that is selected otherwise your content may not download properly so make sure if you sync in any apps make sure it's selected to the default that's why I told you I do not recommend syncing apps I do not know what's gonna happen I'm just following the instruction that the developer put in his description so I did not sync any apps you could just sync your photos videos movies uh, music everything else but do not sync apps so if you ever wanted to sync with multiple iTunes account if you have your music in different places photos in different places you could go ahead and do that the only downfall is they're not combined so you're gonna have to be switching between the libraries if you want to go ahead and use it but that's basically it guys the the utility is called multi multi tunes or multi tunes however you want to pronounce it it's in uh, the big boss people for free but with that being said please rate comment subscribe have a nice day